Hello everybody, today we are going to be taking a look at what might be the most, and just kidding, it's the sequel to a video I already made, this Tech Tuesday, we're going to be looking at Minecraft Mob Intelligence Test. In the last episode, we concluded that these three mobs were the most intelligent mobs in the game. The horse, the dog, and, and this really weird old man. So, so we're going to be testing them in the next module I have made. As you can see, there is no visual cues. The only thing they're going to have is a mate, because if there's anything important about species, it's their ability to move on to new generations so they can continue their bloodline. As such, we're going to present them with a mate on one side and no mate on the other side. I don't care if they're introverted or if they don't want to make friends, they are going to have to learn to reproduce, because that, of course, is how you, you know, achieve genetic superiority. So we're going to start off with the dog, because he is the first one. I'm going to splash him with slow fall so he doesn't die when I drop him into the cage, so I'm just going to... Okay, slow fall. I hope you're slow fall, or else you're gonna die. Okay, let me just grab him there. And, um... Yeah, that looks like slow fall to me. Okay, so now we can carry him into the patch of land. Just slowly like that. Slowly. There we go. Now I can grab that. And then here, my boy, is another wolf. He has to choose whether to mate... Okay, that's really annoying. He has to choose whether to mate or to stay alone forever, and if he stays alone forever, he will pro prove that he is dumb. So, let's see what he decides to do. Begin. Well, watch now. He's looking around, he's spotted the mate. He knows she's there. Well, if you look at the other side, he looks in the wall. Okay, interesting, what is the strategy? But he seems he seems uh, torn. He doesn't know where to go. This is a, definitely a hard test. It's a bigger step up from um, this test right here, where you know there's a bit there's a one piece of food and a lot of pieces of food, or this one, which is life versus death. But this one, this one's a bit harder. You have to really think about which decision you're gonna go with. Are you going to mate, or are you going to stay alone forever? Don't worry, he can't hear me. I've soundproofed the whole area, so he can't hear my instructions. He's just gonna have to pick. The mate is walking around. Let's see if she even wants to reproduce with him after this, because it's taken him so long to decide. But, you know, this might be interesting. We might get to see if all the animals fail this, it's gonna be really dumb. But if one of them succeeds, then we can conclude they are the smartest animal. Let's just watch him. Ooh, nope. Okay. He's definitely. I don't know if. Oh! It's not a hard decision. He did it! He chose to mate! He passed the test! He will now get to be with his mate. Very well done, you passed, congrats, what a god, absolute genius. He will die if he goes this way, by the way. You passed, very good, but you're now a very smart animal. The dog has finished the testing. We're now gonna move on to the horse. Just gonna, you have slow fall, right? Yes, definitely. Okay, so we're just gonna drop him in there. And we're gonna spawn in a female horse with the female dog. Well, he's not going to want to mate with a child, is he? Because that's a... Uh, that wouldn't be very uh, appropriate now, would it? Oh! You know what? Whatever. Screw it. You're going to have to mate with a child. Pick! Let's see what he decides. Will he mate or at least adopt a child so they can grow up to be big and strong? Or will he go for the other side and prove his stupidity? Maybe they're noticing a pattern. Maybe they always have to go left to survive. Maybe I should make the right side the survivable choice next time. I might do that. I've done this before in the past with horses. Um, maybe that's the problem. Maybe he can not path find between such a small gap. Well, now there's no excuse for you, buddy. You're gonna have to pick eventually, or else you know you just you just won't make it. Oh, why are the horses babies? That's so confusing. <laughs> maybe I can feed the horse. Oh. <laughs> One of our top three members. Well, I guess that means death for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not sorry. I think it's only fitting to put in a pig. Cons oh, okay. Considering the history of the evoker. So, yeah. Let's see if it chooses to... The heck? That looks so weird. Let's see if it chooses to go for the pig or to die alone, because we all know the Evoker likes to reproduce with pigs. We, we've seen that one too many times, regretfully. So let's see what he decides to do. Will he... Uh, he does it! 
He passes. The Evoker, the magical Evoker, manages to pass the test. And now it is time to fully conclude the saga. It will be Wolf versus Evoker in a one on one competition intelligence battle. Two mobs, one test. I'll uh, sh 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 start with the actual number of mobs. 20 something mobs, I think. Maybe. Uh, two mobs remaining. Smartest animal title is on the line. And what better way to do it than with a maze? Right here we have in front of us a gigantic, well, not right there, that's not that big, but we have a white concrete maze. I will release the animals at the same time and they will have to navigate the maze. A lot of you may be asking yourself, hey, wait, Weefies, where's the end? I was gonna make it a trick, but I decided nah. So I, I put the egg thing actually here. All you gotta do is step here and you get teleported to the winner's batch. And I'm gonna tell the animals what to do, because obviously they have no cues or anything. So, winner. Anyway, I'm gonna tell them now what they have to do. Wolf, Evoker, look at me. Yes, low, look at me. Good, look at me. Look at me when I'm talking to you, mister. Hello, I'm talking to you. Smart. Uh, no. Don't look at his butt. Look at me. Good, perfect. Today, guy. Okay, you know what? Whatever, just listen. Today, I will release you into the maze. You two have proven yourself as the smartest mobs in Minecraft. And one of you is really weird. <laughs> Evoker. Anyway, no, don't even think about it. Today we're going to be releasing both of you into the maze. This is the final test. You will not die, but whichever one of you completes the maze first will win. On your marks, get set, just find the end. Go. The ending will be uh, not very obvious though, so you're going to have to explore. And don't go to the same place twice. May luck be on your side. Whoop, gonna zoom. Let's see if any of them leave the starting area. Oh, uh, one of them wolf despawned. Okay, let me just, uh, how about... That, there we go, that's pretty good. There we go. Oh, I should probably, you know, to make this a bit faster. Let's give them both uh, some speed pots, shall we?
I cannot believe it. He stepped in the forbidden corner. The Minecraft mob to rule all others. The dog has proven itself to be the most intelligent mob in Minecraft. The evoker just couldn't find his way out, which is why I will personally heal you and give you food because you're beautiful. Let me let me just tame you right there, boy. Very good job. You get steak. So guys, that actually concludes the testing. We have now identified the most intelligent, I just forgot the word, mob in the whole game, and that is the wolf. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to take everything with a grain of salt. He's so close. If he just steps on this block right here, he would have made it. But thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.